thesaurus. And that deals with cleverness, genius, imagination, ingenuity, inspiration, inventiveness, originality, resourcefulness, talent, and vision, which is something I think that we all have shown today. But being creativity is the thing that ties all of those uh, traits of a store manager together. In order for us to motivate, drive sales, communicate, and multitask, the foundation of all these is being creative. And being a creative uh, results in increased sales, higher customer satisfaction, and better employee retention, which are three very important drivers to our business success. Now, there are rules to creativity. Creativity requires planning, okay? Creativity cannot be spontaneous and requires thoughtful execution. The thorough understanding of products and services, a passion for helping our customers and creating win-win-win for customer, consumer, and commissions. Um, so what we're going to try to do is plant the creativity seed in our stores. It needs to be nurtured and shared across all channels. And we plant that seed uh, to grow our business by doing sales meetings, creating in-store competitions, utilizing iLearn, and bring in uh, trade publications. Any questions? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Is that being creative Creativity. here? Is that creative? Uh, you guys did a great job. <laughs> Cheers. So that that is how some managers could have done it. We've gone a little a step further, and I want to grab a couple things back here. <laughs> Are you guys going to be up here or back there? You guys going to come up? Mom, I knew that they were downloading something for a while. I knew that No, that wasn't part of the problem. <laughs> okay, I guess we do have a serious question, though, is can you define creativity? Can anybody define creativity? Not all at once. Anybody? <laughs> One quite one word. One the define creativity. Fun ideas. Ideas. I mean, it's it's more of a. You, you know what creativity is, but you can't really define it. I mean, if you go by the the definition, it's the ability to transcend traditional ideas, which, in our retail environment, that's kind of tough, um, because it's we open a store and we have customers come in and we sell stuff. Um, so it's 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 more than just the basics. So um, what we've kind of done is we've said, okay, well, we're going to compare it to a, co a plant. You know, we're going to say, uh, we decided to compare creative to creativity to a plant, and it's going to start out as a seed. Um, uh, you know, so, and everybody has that seed in them, whether, whether it's tiny um, or whether it's huge. I, I'm not one with, with a huge creativity seed. Um, obviously, Jared Perkins. Well, I don't know yet, but flavor flavor Jared is. You know, I mean, so, but, but that's the point is, it can be defined. I mean, it can be learned. Um, you know, some of these people can probably create um, what do you call it? origami with their napkins, and, and it's, that's creative. Um, whether that's a learned skill or whether that's something that they have, or you know, that can be debated. Um, I'm not one of the gifted ones, so I have to actually try. I have to try harder. So I have to. How I do that, I read. You know, and there's tons of different mater material out there. We're gonna go to there, that too. Um, but what we think of for um, creativity to be learned, we're, we're gonna call it watering the seed. So, you know, everybody is capable of becoming more creative. It really just takes the desire to want to be it. Um, you know, if you want to think outside the box, and again, we're, like we're talking about, this is retail. There's not new, I mean, not tons of new ideas on how to sell, um, but how they can be done, they can be tweaked, and that's what that's what we're good at. Um, so, just like any habit, it just takes time and time and time and doing it again. Um, so the question is, I guess, you know, why is Martha, Martha Stewart successful? Is she the most creative person out there? 
she could be one of the most creative, but she comes out with the ideas, and people use those ideas and build off those ideas. And so what we've done is we've kind of come together with <laughs> some ideas on um, where we get the ideas to build off of. Uh, Kirsten has some some ideas what we're looking at, what, what we've done, and what we hope everybody's going to start to do. Yeah, not just with yourself, but also with your team. So keeping your teams creative. You know, they're the actual ones on the front line, so I can only do so much to make it a fun, creative environment for my team to participate in what my goals are um, as a store or Sprint's goals as a company. So um, what we did is we thought of an idea that we could do and each person could bring this into their store. I know for sure I'm gonna do it uh, since this project. Um, is create kind of a library in your store. So I know we all have downtime. Um, and are we even using that downtime you know, for not just driving sales but at all? Are we socializing or what are we doing? So there's, um, I cleared off a shelf in my office um, and I put up different materials. So an example is uh, like selling books, like the Little Red Book of Selling. I know we've probably all heard of that. Um, something that our reps could check out or take, you know, for a short amount of time to kind of refresh their selling skills or um, just kind of re-energize because they're doing the same thing over and over and over. Um, or DVDs. Um, I know one of my guys likes to watch uh, Boiler Room. He watches, it, <laughs> he watches it and he gets pumped and yeah. I can see the difference. Uh, you know, and he watches it over and over. So like for him, motivational movies, he gets all into it. Um, what is it? Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross is another one. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Um, things that keep them, you know, engaged and interested. Um, audio. I know Jeff has, you know, talked to some of his people about um, listening to Spanish tapes, right? How much more would you sell if you knew Spanish? <laughs> Probably a lot, right? Um, other managers. So you could go and you could talk to any other managers, especially in the things that they're best at. I know um, for a long time I didn't, I didn't even really know the RYG report. So I tapped into the people that obviously had great scores and were really good at it. And that's the information piece that I took from them. So using them as a resource. Um, and then visual things, sales boards, stats. We post these all around our store all the time. They're obsessed. They want to be number one. They want to be the best. They want their name up there. They want the recognition. And, um, and they're all into it. Every day they come in, they want to know where do they stand. Where am I in, in rank to everyone else? And it keeps them very competitive. Um, or seminars. Like, if I had a calendar posted in my back room with um, times that there's motivational speakers or things like that, that they could actually go and, and hear someone speak. <coughs> so creative ideas to keep the reps going, you know? And these are things they can use themselves. So I can have a log and they can check out these books or whatever and rotate through. Um, so not just for myself, so that I'm creative with my team, but for them. Um, Sherry had also mentioned a library card, right? You can use a library card and she, goes online, orders the books right to the library, and picks them up. So lots of information, and it's not all books. We were talking about not everybody reads, we get that. So, you know, there's CDs and DVDs and other routes that you can go. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sticking to the plant theme, we've also, <coughs> Clark's kind of come up with, no, go for it. Okay. it. He's come up with uh, uh, activity for us to do. Um, we're, you know, we're talking about the seed of creativity, and, and it needs to be, it needs to be watered and fertilized, so a bunch of cow manure and water. <laughs> uh, and it's going to develop. And, and we're trying to take creativity to, um, you know, for example, he, he has one that's uh, like, what is it? The, uh, adding another line of service. What creative ideas do people have out there for adding another line of service? Um, and we're just going to break up here within four groups yeah, or so. Go ahead and break up into your uh, into your groups. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring these around and let's take five minutes and think of the most creative way that we can offer a customer maybe an additional line. Or maybe we can offer a customer, <laughs> take it or leave it. Uh, maybe we can uh, come up with an interesting idea for an in-store contest. And what we're going to do is we're going to take about five minutes, fill out the cards, and then we're going to collect the cards, we're going to take all the ideas, and we're going to email them back out to you so that we can start to share the creativity that we all here have as a group. So go ahead and get